Hey guys, Eileen Vick here. Recently I was reading on some Facebook posts and various coloring groups about issues with really short stubby pencils and what people uh, do about them. And I came across a post where people started to talk about the various solutions that they've come up with and I added my two cents worth about what I do and basically that is that I take pencils, number two pencils like this, and I glue them onto my shortened pencils. And this is the result. It's pretty nifty. It works really well. And if you look, <clears throat> look at this one. I mean, this is what's left of my colored pencil. And then, of course, this is my pencil part. So you can see that my colored pencil portion is still very much alive and well. So I thought everybody was responding to, <coughs> to what I was saying and asked me what I did and yada, yada, yada. And I showed where I got my supplies. But I thought it would really work out better if I went ahead and did a video and walked you through on what I do to put this together. Now, I have a teaching group on Facebook called Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And so as you can, and I broadcast every night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time at uh, for seven days a week, 365 days of the year. So, as you can imagine, I go through a lot of pencils. So, I thought that I would take this opportunity to show you exactly how to glue this stuff together and what I use. So, let me go ahead and push this to the side. And I'm going to put some protective paper here. And I'm going to, in this video, walk you through the steps of exactly what I do. Now, what you need is number two pencils. That's all you need. I buy them in bulk on Amazon. This is my current supply. Let me pull up just a little bit so you can see. I have got a boatload of pencils. <laughs> I'll be using them. I think there's like, I don't know what the quantity is. Oh, 400. 400 pencils. Now, when you buy these little puppies, you got to be really careful that you don't accidentally buy pre-sharpened pencils. Zoom in. They have to be the blunt, unsharpened, and you'll see why in a few minutes. If you get pre-sharpened, you're just gonna make more work for yourself. So you get these pencils, and what you do is, let's see, let me get a better ruler here, is you go ahead and you measure halfway so these measure about seven inches <clears throat> so you want three and a half inches now I'm going to show you exactly how this whole step on how to do this so I just mark at three and a half inches And what I'll do is I'll put a bunch of these pencils together. And even them up. And I'll go through. And I'll mark where I have to cut them. I like to pre-market. It just makes you know makes it a bunch easier. 
Okay. So then I'll take my cutting tool. Now, this is a set of dog nail clippers. These are heavy duty. So it's pretty substantial. And by the way, I'll list in comments a link to everything that I'm showing you. So you know where to get them. Or you can just contact me directly by um, messenger and I'll give you that information as well. So what you wanna do is take your cutter and cut your pencil. Now, this is where it's important that you've purchased unsharpened pencils. This is the end right here of unsharpened this is the end that I just cut. It's got the eraser on it. Now, as you'll notice, this end is a little bit crooked. That happens sometimes. So what you need to do is just play with it until you get it nice and flat and even. Now, be aware, it's really weird. Some of these pencils, the wood, there's flaws in them and you'll run into some rotten spots. Not a lot, but it happens. So I've taken my cutters, I've cut my pencil, and now I've got my two halves. This is the end that I cut. This is the end that's unsharpened. And then this is the second part here that's got the eraser. Now, what I've done is I've pre-cut a bunch of these for myself. And I've got a little holder. Um, I had purchased some pencils that the pencils came in this holder, which was really neat. I'm glad I didn't throw it away. And so what I do is I just stick them in there and I have a bunch of them ready to go. So that's what this is. So the next thing you want to do is you, we need to glue. Now, Zoom out, zoom out. Now the glue that I use, it's called Miter uh, Apel or I get A-P-E-L and it's an instant adhesive. This is the activator, this is the glue. Now the reason that I buy this stuff, oh and when you buy it, you get in the package you get two cans and you get two bottles of the stuff. My can, I've obviously gone through my first can. That one's empty, so I'm on my second can already. And you can see I've got gunky glue on the outside, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So what you do, and I found this method to work really well, Zoom in, zoom in. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna change my candle camera angle just a little bit so you can see how this goes. So what you do is you get your pencil that you wanna cut. Now, we need to talk about that a little bit too. Your pencil ends, some of them are this flat end. However, let me find some other pencils here. Some brands have a painted over rounded end like this. So guess what? You've got to zoom out, zoom out. So we've got to cut this. Now 
Now, it's really interesting to cut open some of these pencils <laughs> because depending on the quality, it's going to depend on the kind of cut that you get. So what I'll do is I'll pick up a bunch of pencils that I'm going to be working with and I'll go ahead and I will pre-cut them. Oh, now that turned out, that one turned out really well. And after a while when you do this, you know, it just, it just goes lickety split. Now that one is crooked. So I'm going to have to go ahead and trim it and get that nice and flat. Okay? So you'll have to go through depending on the brand and you'll get your little nubby tops from your pencils. Alright. Here's another one. We'll go ahead and cut that for you. Take your time, nice slow squeeze. Oh yeah, see you can tell I've been doing this a while. And that came out really smooth and level. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, let me shake up my activator here. See, I've got some more pencils I can do. Let me shake my activator here. So I put my ends here in my holder. I'm going to take my glue. And I'm going to dab, dab it on. And then I'm going to take my activator. And I found that by dabbing the glue on the uh, pencil portion of this, the number two pencil portion of this, and taking my pencil, and what they want you to do is they want you to spray this tip and then put the ends together. Well, you don't want to hold the spray out from the pencil. What you want to do is hold it right next to the head, spray a little bit, and then hold it together. Now, you want to count for about 15 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. To make sure that you've got a really good seal and that the glue takes. Now, my recommendation is you need to let this dry overnight. This is feeling pretty solid, but when you're putting hand pressure on it, I mean, this would probably be fine, but best results, you wait overnight. <laughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. Let me get a little fan going. Now, the neat thing is, is once you start this process, it goes pretty quick. So I've got all my pre-cut pencils. I've got them in my little holder. <coughs> <coughs> Let me pull the camera down here. I'm going to flatten this out just a little bit more. Yeah. 
and then you dab on your glue let me find my one pencil that I cut here then you take your can again hold your pencil tip up to the nozzle a little bit of a spray there two seconds and then hold it together zoom in Now, sometimes when you're doing this, and see, I set aside all the pencils that I do in an evening. Sometimes when you do this, you're going to get a little bit of glue that gushes out from the side. No big deal. You just get a knife and you trim that off. It comes off very easily. Don't let that throw you. So let me go ahead and do a few of these. And like I said, guys, I mean, here's one here. Again, this is what's left of the pencil. This little teeny tiny bit. You know, the colored pencil. And then here's the rest of the pencil. Now, when this is worn down, I will still save this. And I will use it again. I'll just recut this just to get any glue uh, residual off, residue off, excuse me, and go on from there. All right, let me do another one. And it is so ridiculously easy. You dab on your glue. You do your little spray bit. and you hold your ends together. Very, very simple. Now, I feel that this stuff with this activator works better than um, Gorilla Glue. You know, what's the other glue project products? I can't think of the name right now. I really like it. Okay. Dab on your glue. Spritz your spray. Again, hold the nozzle right up next to it. Do it. Give it a little shot. And you're good to go. I would say maybe hold it for 10 seconds, if that. Yeah, about 10 seconds. Let me do another one for you. I just want to show you how quickly this goes once you get rolling. Dab on your glue. So what you'll want to do is just make an evening of it and sit down and do a boatload of pencils. Let me tilt down a little more here. Zoom in. It works beautifully. 
See, now I'm going to have a little bubble there. No big deal. Here, let me get some other shorties. Whoa. Now, I reclaimed a whole bunch of pencils doing this. And I'm really glad that I did it. I had a lot of red pencils that were like way getting teeny tiny. Because reds are my favorite colors. Let's see what I got. Give me a second here. Okay. Here's a pencil that has a rounded end. Um, Faber-Castell has the rounded end, so you'll have to cut that. Now, see how this kind of fell apart? When I cut that, that happens. That just could be something with the wood quality. That's not a Faber-Castell. This is somebody else's. Now, sometimes when I have a really rough end like this, is I'll go ahead and I will put that in my holder. And I'll dab the glue in because I want it to go down into the cracks and crevices. And I'll be really generous with my glue. Then I'll take my pencil, hold it up to the nozzle, spritz it, and hold it together. And trust me, this is not a, an aggravation or a problem to do at all. Once you get the steps down, boom, boom, boom. Like I said, watch a little TV. Zoom out. Watch a little TV while you're doing this. Put something on in the background. Oh yeah, that cut beautifully. What I would do is I would separate your pencils. That one cut beautifully. I would separate your pencils between the ones that need to be cut and the ones that don't and then just sit there and do all your cutting. Well, I had a good cut on there, and I... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Dab my glue on. Do my spray. Put them together. And hold. Now, if your pencils come out a little bit crooked, it doesn't really matter. That could just be a function of how you made your cut. I mean, some of mine have interesting bends in them. I'm pretty straight on most of my pencils. Every once in a while you get a wonky one. That doesn't matter at all. It still does the job. See, this one's bent a little bit. No biggie. Okay, so I'll set that one off. So let me do these last three here so you can see how quick it goes.
dab on your glue spritz glue together zoom in And again, count to about 10. And you're good to go. See, now that's got some little globbies on it. No big deal. I'll just trim that off later. Sometimes I get globbies. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. Dab your glue. Spritz. Put your ends together. It kind of fizzles, uh, you know, it's, it's, it fizzes a little bit, which is kind of interesting. All right, one more. So here's my pencil here. This is a color soft pencil actually. Cut my end. Sometimes you'll get a good cut on the first go. Dab my glue. Spray. Hold my ends together. Now, what I would suggest is that you make an evening out of it and sit down and just get all your short little stubs. Zoom out. Zoom out. Get all your short little stubs and do this. All right, let me adjust my camera again for you. And I also suggest doing it on a piece of paper. That way the cleanup is really easy. So, pencil ends. Bulk pencils. Get those, cut them in half. Your clippers for any of your pencils that come with the rounded ends. Your glue, which is two cans of the spray, two bottles of the glue. All right, and these are the pencils that I just did. And these are pretty firm. But again, I'm going to let them dry overnight. This one's got a interesting bend in it. Again, no big deal. See? It's just going to rest up against your hand. And yes, you can put this in an uh, electric sharpener. You just keep going until it starts to bump into your little bend and then you can hand sharpen. Okay, guys, I hope this helped you. Again, contact me if you have any questions. Zoom out. Zoom out. And let me know 
give me some feedback on this and let me know if you like the idea. It's really, I, I th it's just, I just got all my pencils back, all my reds back, like I said. Okay, guys, take care. Again, this is Eileen Vick for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And if you'd like to see the way I color, join my group, my nightly broadcast, seven days a week. And we can chat there. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.